In 1947, after independence, the banks in India were all privately owned. During this period, the banks were highly unstable and the main issue of concern was only 2% of the advances were given to farmers. This was during a time when farmers constituted for over 70% of India's total population. Even as late as 1967, the situation had not improved much and farmers were more or less ignored by the private sector banks in India. Between 1947 and 1969, hundreds of private banks in India went bankrupt and especially during the second half of the 60s, the financial crisis in India was very acute. It was under these circumstances, in 1969, the Indian government nationalized a significant portion of our nation's banking system. This move by our government in 1969 helped india achieve a very healthy and a more inclusive growth comrades we have to tell them what was the situation between 1947 and 1969 how private sector banks were catering to only the rich and new rich people why nationalization was brought in and between 69 and 1991 what happened the country was transformed lot of development took place agriculture grew the production increased white revolution in milk green revolution in agriculture blue revolution in fishery everything was because of the banking sector support now the banking sector in india is again going into the hands of the private sector the government after the implementation of the liberal economic policies of the 90s has in a steady manner reduced the size of the public banking sector and has created the atmosphere for the private banks to grow freely without any restrictions now after the coming of bjp to power this trend has only further accelerated the prime minister of the country makes a statement publicly say that public sector was born to die and government has no business to be in business for him banking is also a business we consider it as a service and we are now today controlled by all kind of economists who belongs to one school of thought called the chicago school of thought or the milton friedman school of thought which says that the government role has to be minimum to safeguard the border to tax the people to maintain law and order the rest you leave it to the private sector with the privatization of banks being pushed aggressively by the indian government the past is repeating itself again like during the 50s and 60s farmers are again being excluded from the nation's banking sector and likewise the nation's poor and the unfortunate are also denied free access to the banking services this pro corporate policy change by the government has brought for the banking sector a huge crisis and the whole economy is also affected by this this is why it is very important for us to restore our public banking sector back to its original state like it was before the economic liberalization we must unite to reclaim our public banking sector and our republic